Hey guys, in today's video we're going to look at a few additional programs you can install on your main arcade cabinet aside from the typical emulators. All of these programs are going to be designed to run on a Windows based main cabinet so if you're running Raspberry Pi or something like that a few of these might not work. The first program we're going to look at is called Phase Shift. This is a music arcade game very similar to Rock Band or Guitar Hero. There's thousands of songs available for this thing. Uh, you could go online and get pretty much anything you're looking for. Uh, if you can't find it, you could actually make your own songs to play on this. All the buttons are configurable, so you could do it to your um, your arcade buttons if you like that. If not, any Xbox 360 um, music instrument you play on the computer just fine. If you have a USB instrument, guitar, drums, anything like that, it should be plug and play. Personally, I use a wireless Xbox 360 um, adapter that lets you play wirelessly with your 360 controller on your computer. That'll actually work for these as well. And I went to the, the local music store and bought a couple guitar ha wall hangers, and I have those mounted to the side of the arcade with two wireless guitars. Next up, we have a fan made fighting arcade game called Terradrome. Uh, this is a free game. It's available on their website. You can go grab it. You're uh, fighting. It's a lot similar to Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat, but it's all horror movie icons. There's a whole bunch of uh, different moves and stuff. There's a move set in the pause menu. Some one of our favorite games to play on the arcade. Um, you can do a single player storyline, or there's a versus mode where you can fight against each other. The last thing we're going to take a look at is Open Beats of Rage. Uh, this is a game engine that allows people to create their own beat em ups. You can play this on pretty much anything. They have ports for the Android phones. It's very popular on Sega Dreamcast and the Homebrew and all that kind of stuff. Even if you don't want to make your own game, there's a, a whole bunch of great uh, fan made games already out there that you could just download. Uh, they have sequels to a bunch of the arcade games. They made a, uh, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sequel. There's a great. Uh, Ghouls and Ghosts sequel on here. There's a couple of Splatterhouse sequels. It's really fun. It plays super well on the arcade cabinet. You can rebind all the buttons, so it's very easy to get working. Some of my favorite Beats of Rage mods you could get out there is they have the sequel to The Simpsons Arcade. It's a Treehouse of Horror game. There's the Ghosts and Demons that we talked about. Um, there's an Ed Ed and Eddie game that's really fun. Uh, Dreams of Rage, which is the, the Freddy Krueger Nightmare on Elm Street game. They have some Evil Dead games. They also have a sequel to Night Slashers that's very great. You should probably check a bunch of these out. That'll do it for this video. Uh, if you feel like it, go ahead and comment below. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing a bunch of different videos. Until next time, thank you for watching.